Welcome back. One of our viewers has a dream to be the next Food Network star. This is Johnny Piera. Cooking is his barbecue. I know you guys aren't driving <laughs> here's, his, here's his video. Cooking is his passion. He does it in his backyard. He's in our kitchen this morning trying to get on the show. Let's make That's it happen, right. people. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Johnny P. How you doing? Good day, Sacramento audience. So, I'm Johnny P. Looking to be the next Food Network star. But I don't want to be in a kitchen. You put me here. Mm -hmm. But my real, my real talent is outside. I did this for you guys. OK, OK, what'd you do? This here is smoked brisket. Took 12 hours to smoke. Obviously, I can't do that in your backyard. Mm. So I did it in mine. OK. And I'm bringing it to you. I'm going to take one of these beautiful, sweet Hawaiian rainbow rolls. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pop it open. All right. Mm -hmm. nice. Right here, we got a little roasted garlic butter. Oh, nice. Really? Roasted yeah. garlic butter? I didn't think about that. That's a good you idea. Gotta have a little roasted garlic. Garlic <laughs> little, on everything. Look at you, a little oh, garlic yeah. butter. Check this out. <laughs> Boom. That's a lot of garlic All butter. All right. Uh, Perfect scoop. Right here. Oh, like an ice cream. Oh, wait, is this ice cream or ice what? cream scoop? <laughs> works perfect. Slap it on. Dragon Farms out of Elk Grove. They exclusively make me ghost pepper. I got ghost pepper sauce. So this Homemade is your recipe? From tomato paste. Really? From scratch. I just tried to bite of that. I'm yeah. Do it on camera, Hit it. So it Hit it. So good. That ghost Take it sauce. down. I'm thinking you just need to sell that and be done. Right? Johnny P, why should you be the next Food Network star? There is nobody like me. There is nobody that's out in the backyards of America where the Food Network's core viewers at. Mm -hmm. Diners, drive-ins, and, drive and dives by Guy Fieri is wonderful. But the people that watch that show are people like me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and people like my dad, Bob Pereira, who does vingadage on a skewer in his backyard, <laughs> or the Smith family that does an asparagus festival every year for friends and family. I want to go to see those. I want to go all across America and see the backyards and what people got going on. I think that'd be a great TV show, man. It'd be so, a great TV show. What do you think? Ding. It's really good. It's really Hold good. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. Now I look like a chef. There you go. Food Network, bring me <laughs> to your next Food Network star. Awesome. Do you want to deliver these to everybody? I got to tell you one so more good. thing. Okay, go for one it. One more thing. Uh -huh. So this roll uh -huh. that you just ate uh -huh. for brisket, uh -huh. turkey sliders, mm -hmm. day after Thanksgiving, Little bit of cranberry, mm. off the hook. Awesome, off awesome. The hook, huh? right what there. can we do to help you? Thank so, you. Oh, I got a Facebook here. page, we'll go right uh -huh. JPBQ, oh, Q U E. Okay. Have... JPBQ. I need all the audience members to join. Mm -hmm. I got a YouTube video, my audition video. If you search Johnny P, Food Network, I need as many hits on that video mm. as possible, because I got to make Food Network not be able to pass me up. So. Pin me to the nation. <laughs> Show my video. Nice job, buddy. Thank you, sir. He's very shy, isn't he? Shy. He's very shy. Come shy. on, Food Network. Johnny P. Look at that. That's awesome. A Johnny face P. only a mother could love right here. Johnny P. This is so good. This what do you think? See, I don't really eat meat, but this is good. The, the really garlic good. butter on here. I'm converting vegetarians I mean. <laughs> on camera right I'm not here. I'm a vegetarian. I, right I'm now. just picky about Thanks, meat. <laughs> that is so good. All right, back to you, Amy, because mm. I'm going to finish my sandwich. <laughs> Actually, back to you. Mm -mm, no, back to you. No, no, no. no, back to you. Mm -mm, no, all right, you. so. Uh, <laughs> right all right. Back. I apologize. It's rude to speak with your mouth full. It is the smallest Thanksgiving celebration ever. A local woman creates miniature versions of the real thing. Nina has more from all of hers. Hey, Nina. Hey guys, did you ever play with dollhouses as a kid? Or even when you did or saw them, did you ever wonder where that food came from? Leah V Miniatures, earlier we showed you this beautiful Thanksgiving spread that she made. So much detail. There's even butter on the little rolls. Well, she doesn't just make dollhouse food. She also makes jewelry, which is really exciting. Since the holidays are almost here, we might as well jump into it and learn how to make candy cane earrings. Leah, why did you pick the candy cane? Be honest. Is it because I don't have skills? No, it's just because it's easy and it'll kind of show everybody how to do this stuff without making it too hard. And it's quick. Okay, so what are we using? What is this stuff right here? This is Sculpey. This is, um, there's a couple different kinds. There's Sculpey, there's Primo, there's Sculpey Classic, but everybody calls it kind of Sculpey Clay or polymer clay. This is fun already. I think I just like to say the word Sculpey. Okay, so what are we doing? What do I need to do? Okay, so first off, we're going to, I gave you two different um, amounts of the red and the white. We're going to kind of soften it up, kind of roll it around, and then we're going to
gonna make two logs. Okay, since I'm one-handed right here, I'm gonna let you focus on the logs. Okay. And then I made that one, if you wanna mess with that one. So this is what it's gonna end up looking like. So you just gently roll them out. Did we really need that sharp object earlier, or did you just want me to hold that? You kinda do, because you're <laughs> gonna cut it and shape it and make it look pretty. So you kinda do need it. And the roller, sometimes you need that. <laughs> like you could use it right now, but you don't want it super flat. Right, 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 exactly. Okay, so after those are rolled out, you twist them together, and so we end up getting this braid. Yes. Then what happens? Then what you're gonna wanna do is kinda secure it all around together, and then you're gonna start gently rolling. So then it becomes one like a real candy cane. Right, and then once you get it kind of the same diameter all the way around without it being bumpy, then you're gonna wanna twist it takes a little bit to get it to do this. Oh my gosh, it looks like a real candy cane. It makes me kind of want to eat it. Playing, making food makes me just as hungry as like making real food. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, everybody says all the time, your food makes me hungry. Okay. Just start twisting. And then, here, I'm gonna use this one. Cut off this. And then we're gonna make it even smaller so that it twists um, a lot shorter, looks a lot better. And then just cut it again? Yep. So you just keep cutting it until you get a really mini candy cane? Yes, and then you shape it, which is fairly easy. <laughs> and then what I like to do is I like to make little beads that match and coordinate with the candy canes and then make a whole necklace and it's really cute for the holidays. So then you just will poke a hole in it and then you'll have the earring set and then you just cook it. How long do you cook these things for? It's uh, 275 per quarter inch of thickness. So something like this, if I had like a whole plate of them, then I'd probably say about 15, 20 minutes. Perfect. Now, if you don't make them yourself, you can find Leah V Miniatures at? I'm on Facebook. I'm on, let me see, um, Pinterest, um, Etsy. <laughs> Uh, DeviantArt, I have my own blog. She's worldwide, Leah V Miniatures. You can find her other jewelry and other different food items there as well. Cool, I'm excited, let's try them on. <laughs> Back to you guys. That's cool. I always wonder how they do that. All right, Good Day Favorite is back in the studio at nine. Dave the Horn Guy returns to tell us about his new iPhone app. Plus, if one day of turkey's not enough, Papa Dale's Drive-In Diner is coming to the rescue.
I don't know if you can smell that. It went, turn on your smell vision on your TV. Look at this. Oh my gosh, Papa Dale's Drive and Diner, our favorite food truck, is here. And I said, I put you to a little challenge. I said, Keith, we need fall inspired, Thanksgiving inspired meals off of food truck. Did Perfect. you deliver? We got it. You we got, got it. you good. Chef Keith it's Friedland joining time. us. Okay, what are we starting with? Should we start with this right Let's here? Let's start with the gumbo. We got a smoked chicken and andouille sausage gumbo topped with a andouille and corn corn muffin. Had with beautiful Peyton is here to uh, tell you a little bit more about what we have too. She helped make these wonderful cookies right here. What are these, Peyton? Pumpkin chocolate cookies. Wait, say it again, right pumpkin in my microphone. Pumpkin chocolate cookies. Oh, awesome. so these are pumpkin chocolate cookies. Should I try it? Okay, let me try it. Mm, you know what that is? That's that heaven. is that right there. Those, <laughs> those two words I can't say on TV. <laughs> That's what that is. <laughs> we uh, Next we have some pumpkin beignets. Wow, pumpkin beignets. Yeah, we folded some uh, pumpkin into the beignet dough. Stop it. Let's go. And then they're topped with Hold a on. little. There's pumpkin on the inside. Let me open it. Oh, no, it. They're, they're, they're just empty inside. It's in the dough. Oh, it's in the dough. And then Whoa. do you notice a little smokiness on there? Mm -hmm. It's topped with a little bit of bacon powder. It's a tapioca maltodextrin added with a little rendered bacon See, this fat is not food truck power. food. This is so over the top. Yeah, Let's it's, go it's here. It's what food truck food is now. Food truck food is higher now. Mm -hmm. We've elevated it. OK, we got some pot roast. This mm -hmm. is a top round that's been slow roasted for about eight hours, uh, really low and slow to bring out all the flavor. Topped with a pan gravy, the, just the drippings right out of the pan. Um, that over looks just some so lettuce good. and just a really good, hard, crunchy roll. You gotta have the gravy. And then this last dish right here, what is on top here? I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna take one of yeah, your of favorite Of course, chips. you gotta have chips. What is we brought this? Cody a whole bunch, too. What is this? This is uh, cranberry and apple chutney um, that my wonderful wife, Awesome Amy, made. She uh, slow roasted some onions, apples, cranberries with little spices. That's over uh, pulled pork that's been braised with uh, citrus, like. Uh, let's see, we got orange juice. Awesome baby. Oh awesome my baby. God. <laughs> yeah. Awesome baby, that is like, I just want to cry. That is it's so, so good. good, isn't it? Yes. Okay, so coming up in the next hour, you're going to show us what we can do with our leftovers. Yeah, our leftover you know, we, turkey. we got some turkey leftover, and so we've come up with a couple different dishes to show you what you could do with some leftover cooked turkey. Stop it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that was so good, Cody. Be jealous. I'm serious. That very, was to die for delicious. Very jealous. Very wow. jealous. Mm. Okay, thank you very much, Abe. All right, uh, coming up, instead of waiting in long lines at chain stores on Black Friday, keep your money local. New at 9, Netto's taking us to a boutique in Lodi. Plus, uh, a quick meal can now be made even quicker. Coming up at New at 9, we are meeting the creator of the Rapid Ramen Cooker.